Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Future Things Today in this video, we are going to see break and continue. So we have already seen the break statement in the previous videos when we are going to deal with switch statements. So to, um, to break down the switch statement, if the particular case statement is satisfied. So to jump out of this switch statement, we have seen a break statement at the end of the case blocks in every case. So we are still, uh, as we know, break statement is used to jump out of the loop that may be for switch statement or we can use the same for a while loop and also for for loop, do while loop, any loop. We can use this break statement to come out of a, uh, jump out of a loop. So not only switch, you can use for any loops. So that thing is a break statement. So example jumped out of the for loop when i is equal to 4. We are seeing some example. We can also use break statement for any loop that is for all. So we can use just see with the for example. In i is equal to 1 is a variable. So we are just declaring that variable and assigning of that variable will be done in a for loop. We have expression 1 as assignment uh, expression and then condition expression will be there and then increment uh, expression will be there. So yeah, assigning condition and increment uh, expression 1 of uh, 0 we are setting as i value and then condition is i is less than 10 that is 10 times uh, we are looping this thing and i plus plus. So as we are starting from 0, so from 0 to 9 it will be printed and anyhow the loop will be repeated for 10 times. So we are breaking this particular loop if the i case is that is i value is 4 we are breaking this loop that is no longer uh, uh, like incrementing the value of i that is breaking that and then uh, uh, see how resultant will be seen. So printing that thing is done uh, like after break after checking the condition we are breaking we are printing. So it is not uh, for example first now i value is 0 so i is less than 10 which, which is less than which is correct statement. So this particular loop will got executed where first we are checking i value 4 now 0 is uh, equal to equal to 4 that is not true. So it is not going to uh, go into this if condition. So just printing that 0 is printed and now incremented to 1 i value then again 1 is less than 10 then i is equal to is equal to 4 which is not true it is not breaking and then printing the i value 1 and then printing the 2 i value 2 and then again printing the i value 3 when it comes to incrementing uh, after i value 3 is 4 then 4 is equal to 4 it is breaking it is no longer going to be print the value of 4 and again not repeating the for loop it is break is breaking the loop entire loop will got breaked if we are given break so it is not going to increment again the for loop will be breaked so there is no uh, incrementing again kind of thing. So you understood, right? I breaks the loop. Okay. So entire loop will be broken. So now it's only up to three we have printed here. Okay. That is how break statement will be going to work. So yeah. And then again, we have a continue kind of thing, which is similar to break statement, but it is not going to break the loop. It is just going to break the iteration in that loop. Iteration is nothing but if you have seen this example, the iteration is nothing but when i is equal to 1, we are happening one iteration. And then again incrementing 2, the again 2, uh, setting the value up to 2 and then in, uh, iteration is happening. So the repeating of loop, the one particular looping kind of thing we called as a iteration. So whereas continue breaks the iteration, break breaks the loop, continue uh, is not breaking the entire loop, but it breaks the one iteration only. Okay, you understood, right? If a specified condition occurs and the continue is there with the next iteration in the loop, it is breaking the next iteration of the loop. So that iteration, it will break. Okay, the example skips the value of 4. Here we have an example, the same example for loop is the same from 0 to i less than 10, i plus plus. Here if i is equal to is equal to 4, we have continue here and then again printing the kind of thing. Let's see how this example is printing. So here you can see you are getting the 9 values. In the previous we have break, we are just breaking the loop and if you get i value 4 and again loop is breaked. So in continue what will happen in this, i value is 0. So it's fine, it's just uh, i is equal to 4, 4. Then next continue in the loop. See, i is equal to 4. Uh, i is equal to 0. 0, 0 is equal to zero, 4. No, this is not happening. It's not continuing. And then, uh, uh, see, it is not going to execute in this particular uh, if case, if it is a 0. It's just printing and for one also it's just printing and for two also it's just printing and for three also it's just printing in four case i is equal to four four is equal to four it is entering into the if block and it is having continue 
as we know if continuous there it will block the particular iteration so it will block the particular iteration is nothing but uh, this i is equal to 4 it will block the iteration it is not going i is 4 is not continuing longer so it is breaking that four, fourth iteration and just uh, it's not printing and just iterating through the other number so it is 5 now 5 is equal less than 10 so it is true and it comes into this for block and then if condition is not, like 5 is equal to 0 it is not true so it is not going to this if block and just printing the i value that is 5 so again in, in the same thing uh, incrementing the 6 and again 6 so you can see it's, uh, we have and continue if i is equal to 4 that is it is breaking that fourth iteration so i is not going no longer is printed here so that is 4 value is not printing here okay, if you can see the continuous is nothing but it will continue the it loop but breaks the particular iteration just the simple thing break breaks the loop continue will continue the it, uh, loop but it breaks the particular iteration only breaks the iteration so continue breaks the iteration break breaks the loop okay the simple thing you no need to get confused like it is very simple if you understand so yeah hope you understood let's see how this continue and uh, break will work in while loop as we have seen in for loop the same thing which we use in the while loop also here we have conditions in a uh, uh, new other other lines where we have the assignment operator as one one place and then condition at one place and then incremental kind of thing at one place the same at things in a one single line that then that is a for loop okay so while i is less than 10 that is 0 is less than 10 this particular if, uh, while will got executed so where uh, 0 is equal to 0 is not true so this is not going to be executed and then printing the i value 0 incrementing to 1 uh, so i value 1 uh, 0 1 2 3 and everything is got printed so when it comes to 4 4 is equal to 4 is uh, break that is breaking the loop entire while block while block will got break it so no longer number is coming so and how the for loop is breaking the same while loop will got to break by using the break keyword the same continue example with while loop uh, where we will have continue then it will break the particular iteration so fourth uh, value is not going to be printed here the same how it happens with the for loop we have seen previously the same will happen it will break that iteration so again uh, increment will happen that is five value and then a uh, five value will got printed there so this is how a uh, uh, break and continue will going to be work okay so yeah, here we are continuing right that is breaking the condition then we are not setting it is not uh, uh, coming here so we are if it is a four value it is not going to execute the next statements so then how can we increment i value to print other numbers so that will be got confusion so we have to write this increment kind of thing in if if a condition itself because you understood right so we are, there is no chance to increment i value if it is breaking here the particular iteration of 4 is breaking then no steps are going to be executed so we have to increment that i value before uh, continuing that statement itself in this if condition when we are checking with 4 that is the one thing which you have remember by using this while statement while you are using with uh, continue kind of thing so this is uh, this is not in a for loop right where everything is in one single line so that will uh, which is incrementing is not in a code set like a set of lines of code but in while loop it is a line by line code then we have to understand that thing is mentioned at the top before continue statement so that thing keep it in the mind and i hope you understood what i have mentioning so that is all about a break and continue if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section and share this videos to your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this so that thanks for watching bye bye